Hey guys, it's Marcus, MPENTECH, and today we're going to be looking at the Seagate Firecuda 120 SSD. The Firecuda 120 is a 2.5 inch SSD based on SATA 3. Now I know what you're thinking, what makes this one so special compared to the sea of other 2.5 inch form factor SSDs? Well, Seagate claims, and I quote, that this is designed for gamers who require speed, durability, and generous capacity to reach their peak performance. And since this is 2020 and we already have NVMe drives that massively outperform SATA based SSDs, I was intrigued. I mean seriously, what makes this drive so special? Am I missing something or is it just another marketing ploy where manufacturers just tack on some gaming branding just to demand a little bit extra cash? Well, today we're going to find out. Starting off with the pricing, Seagate has priced these drives at $105 for the 500 gig, $200 for the one terabyte, $390 for the two terabytes, and $650 for the 4TB. We managed to get our 500 gig model for slightly cheaper at £75 or $92. Now, the enthusiasts among you will realise that this puts the Firecuda 120 right in NVMe drive territory, where you can get the same amount of storage for the same price, or even less in some cases. Not off to a great start. So let's look at the specs. The Firecuda 120 can manage a maximum of 560 megabytes per second sequential read and 540 megabytes per second sequential write, which is pretty much the maximum you can achieve with SATA 3. And when you compare that to its NVMe counterparts, that's almost five to six times slower, give or take. However, speed isn't everything, and if you're someone that Seagate is targeting this product with, i.e. a gamer, then are you going to really notice the difference day to day? For this, we're going to be matching the Firecuda 120 against the Western Digital Black SN750, which is a similarly priced NVMe drive. It has speeds of up to 3430 megabytes per second sequential read and 2600 megabytes per second sequential write on the 500 gigabyte model. The PC we're going to be using in today's video is the mid-range PC we built in our last video. If you haven't watched that, I recommend you check it out. And we're going to be looking at things you'd probably do on a day-to-day -day basis, such as booting up the machine, loading a game, transferring some files. So onto the first test, and here we're looking at booting into Windows 10 with fast boot disabled. Both SSDs produced extremely similar results, with the Firecuda taking on average 30 seconds and the Western Digital taking 27 seconds, so only a 10% increase. We then looked at a couple of games, Deus Ex Mankind Divided and Skyrim. Both games that can have slightly longer loading times. In both tests, the games had exactly the same save data and the timer would start when we selected continue and end when the game had finished loading. For both SSDs, the load times were near identical with the Firecuda and Western Digital both taking on average 11 seconds to load Deus Ex and 5 seconds to load Skyrim. So given that both of these products offer pretty much the same performance for gamers, the Firecuda 120 is still a solid option. And there is actually one more stat we can't test here, and that is the endurance and reliability of these two drives. The Firecuda 120 is expected to last around 700 terabytes of data written for the 500 gigabyte model, and only goes up from there when you go for the higher storage options. And when you compare that to the SN750 and other leading SSDs, including the Western Digital Red Drives, which is designed for NAS use, the Firecuda 120 comes into a league of its own, more than doubling the total bytes written across the board. So in conclusion, who is this drive for? Well, if you're a gamer, then both of these products perform extremely well, and I doubt you're going to notice the difference between the two. If you have a spare NVMe slot, then the SN750 might make more sense because you know it's a bit more future-proof and you're gonna have a lot more room to grow with games that really need to utilize that speed. I wouldn't really worry about the SN750 having less endurance and reliability than the Firecuda 120, because if you were to ever come close to the 300 terabytes written mark and you did start to experience failures, then you could always, you know, get a new drive, re-download your games from Steam, which automatically backs up everything and your save data periodically anyway. I personally like having less cables in my PC anyway, so going for something like the SN750, which is an M2 form factor, that, you know, that removes two cables from our PC. So that's a definite plus for me. However, if you have an older PC that doesn't support NVMe or you simply want to add more storage, then the Firecuda 120 is one of the best two and a half inch SATA based SSDs out there. And I definitely recommend it. So that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.